Hello everyone, welcome to Droopy Pawn Plays Minecraft for Windows 10, this is episode 18. We're going on two weeks. In case you want to play along, here's the seed. Be sure and go back and be sure to go back and check the earlier episodes if you've missed anything. Feed a bone to a wolf to tame it. You can make it sit or follow you. Well, let's see. Made a new sword. Got a new bow from somebody. Let's go ahead and put the bows together. Cost 10 that way. 18 that way. Well, let's do it the way that costs 10. And now we have a power 3 bow with punch 2 and infinity. Okay, I want to finish the melon farm. Had a couple of spots there that weren't done. Had a tree in the way. And this iron axe really cuts a lot faster. Okay, till that, till that, plant those seeds. Got a little bit of bone left over here, so I'll grow these melon plants here. So at least I've got a couple of them growing. And let's collect some plants. Gonna do some farming real quick, then I think we're gonna head to a village try to find a, a farmer that will do some trading for some plants and crops and maybe we can get enough emeralds to purchase a diamond pickaxe and with the diamond pickaxe we can find some lava somewhere and mine it up turn it into a nether portal Head to the nether and get some stuff that we need. So let's see wheat, carrots, pumpkins, we'll trade for potatoes. Let's see how many melons can I make? Five. I don't think that's going to be enough, so well, I'll go ahead and bring them. Never know. I think the villagers trade for a little more than five pumpkins or five melons, but we'll find out. Got one more pumpkin to take. See, the horse is wearing the saddle right now. Let's take that off, put it on the mule. I don't think we've ridden the mule anywhere yet. Right click him. And let's go over to this village. Whoa. My horse is kind of hard to steer. Oh, you know what? I should grab that uh, zombie flesh too. I might be able to find a purple priest that'll trade for some zombie flesh. Ow. Hey horse, you gotta get out of the way. Horse mule donkey thing. Okay, well, and I forgot to get the coal. And I'll go ahead and take the iron too. Come back. Alright, now we're heading to the village. Guess I could have gotten the wool too. There's a ravine we can check out at some point. Alright, here we are. What will you trade? Are you a farmer? He is a farmer. Two wheat? Or 42 wheat for, for emeralds? Now after you make a trade with him, he does this little bubbly thing. And that opens up new trades. 
So now we can trade for potatoes. And I'm just going to hold shift and right click and he'll trade me all the potatoes he can. I've also got carrots to trade for. Same thing. Hold the shift button and click. And I can do that one more time. Pumpkins. I can get pumpkin trade three times. And so I made those trades and now he should bubble again. And that should open up a melon trade. And yeah, we don't have enough melons. Let's see, we also need to find a cool guy, somebody wearing a, a black apron. I don't see such a guy here. So there may not be a toolsmith in this town. But that's alright, we have other towns to go visit, let's do that. I think they were across this way. Don't want the horse to run into a cactus because that'll hurt him. And keep calling him a horse. He's not a horse, he's a mule. And he's stubborn like a mule. That's a husk. The husk will drop XP and. He will also drop rotten flesh like a zombie. He's the, the desert version of a zombie, basically. So here's the torches we left that go to the other village. And that's a really big jungle. There's another one of those spider jockeys. But uh, creepers coming around, no time to mess with spider jockeys right now. Hello, donkey. So up here, do we have anybody with a black apron up here in this little town? Anybody? I don't see a blacksmith's house. So I think maybe not. Let's go to the other village that was over here by the swamp. Fifteen. Got fifteen XP levels. And I'm pretty sure there was the guy that we needed in this town. Somebody had a black apron anyway. And I hope that guy didn't get eaten. Anybody? Black apron? Anyone? I see nobody. Nobody with a black apron. No blacksmiths. Well, rats, right, so why don't we just go a little bit further? Maybe there's another village in this direction. Now, I haven't mentioned it before, but if you look above my food sickles, you see hearts. And when I'm riding my pony, it shows his heart, his health. So when he takes any damage, he'll lose a couple of hearts. Now the horses have different levels of health. Some of them will have just one row of hearts. Some of them will have 
more than one row. We usually find villages on the plain, so that's what I'm doing here, trying to look look through down the plain, see if I can see another village, but I don't see one. And the sun's going down. So you know what? There was a desert village. Maybe that's where the, the blacksmith was. Let's go try to find the desert village. And I think it was right across from the other village over here that was in the plains. Seems like we were right up here. Did we come to this village? I know we made a bridge. Hey, you guys. Everybody's going inside because they don't want to get eaten. I don't blame them. Who wants to get eaten? One of the things I wanted to do was find a librarian's house and steal his books. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. Alright, well, we're already in the desert. Might as well run around in the desert some. Maybe we can find a desert temple. Oh. Did I accidentally look at an Enderman? I'm on a horse, at least I can run away. Oh goodness. Keep moving. This could end up bad. Whew. Shoot. This guy has armor on. So that was that sounded like a husk and he had armor. Oh, and off in the distance I see a desert temple. I'm going to try and find a way across this water, and we're heading to the Desert Temple. I need to find a way across the little river. <laughs> there was a river where I used to live called Little River. And I may have to build a bridge here. I may have to do it at a different time. Maybe I can get by right here. Yeah, this looks good. I hope. Don't tase me, bro. Hey, be careful when you're riding your horse around. You don't want to run him off into a ravine or something. So this is a desert temple. Now, I didn't bring a lead. So I need some way to block my horse in. Uh, let's use some gravel. We'll go... We'll go one, two, and one, two. I'll put him in there. And it should be good now. All 
Alright, so the horse is stuck. And we're gonna go down in this desert temple. Light it up. Don't want monsters spawning on me. Oh goodness, I'm not prepared. I have too much stuff. Alright, here's what I'll do. I will put down a crafting bench. I will make a chest. And in the chest, I will put some stuff I don't need. Like gunpowder, sand, some seeds, a bone. Um, the sticks I won't need. I can turn them into torches. One, two, three. Let's just see how that goes. I'm going to take my pick. And I like to start right here and go down. I'm going to make a staircase all the way down. And we're trying to get down here. There's where the good stuff is. But there's a pressure plate there. And if you stand on that pressure plate, well, don't stand on the pressure plate. Because underneath, underneath those nine blocks, there's TNT and the pressure plate will activate it but from here we can reach the plate and deactivate it so we've got some gold horse armor and some iron horse armor I'm going to put back all these blocks that I mined on the way down here and I'm going to light it up got some enchanted books a golden apple Blast protection and power two, sharpness two. There's four chests down here to check out. Blast protection. Blast protection again. Uh, let's see. It's time to eat, so I can eat this one piece of mutton. That will clear up a spot. I can leave behind the six cobblestone to take the gold. Blast protection three. And let's see, another golden apple. Is there anything here I want to take? I can leave three carrots. Grab the gold horse armor because you can't draft, can't craft horse armor. I can leave the bread, take the bones. So I can use the bones to make more bread. Oh, I have more wheat. I could have traded with that farmer again. But I think that looks pretty good. So I need to figure out a way up. Throw these down for a second so that I pick up something else. I missed a bone. Now I'll throw a block there. Put that one in a chest. those in a chest so I can grab that and I'll pick my gravel back up because I like to keep some gravel and I can head back up oh there's TNT underneath forgot about that maybe I'll come back for it later because I don't really want to blow up anything just yet one bone there Now it's just about tomorrow, so I'm going to go back inside, and I'm going to call it a day. Seems like a good place to finish. So if you enjoyed watching, let me know, leave a comment, leave a like, maybe even subscribe. Until next time, this is Droopy Pond signing off.